everyone, you're watching The Last Word with me, Maria Shakil. TMC MP Mahua Moitra will be appearing before the Lok Sabha's ethics panel tomorrow morning. On the eve of her appearance, the ethics panel received reports from three ministries, that is the Home Ministry, the IT Ministry and the Foreign Affairs Ministry, that is the External Affairs Ministry. On 26th of October, the Ethics Committee had sought crucial information from these ministries about Mahua Moitra's travels abroad as well as use of a parliament login. Mahua Moitra is likely to be questioned about these reports as well. On her part, the TMC MP started her day by releasing her letter to the Ethics Committee on social media. Her logic, and I quote, Since the Ethics Committee deemed it fit to release my summons to the media, I think it is important to release my letter to the committee before my hearing tomorrow. Unquote. Mawa Moitra pointed out that uh, what she terms as double standards of the Ethics Committee. She says that the committee failed to give her time to meet her commitments to her constituency. In contrast, BJP MP Ramesh Biduri, who faces charges of hate speech, was allowed to put his campaigning in Rajasthan first. Mawa has asked that she be allowed to cross-examine Nishikan Dube, Jayanand Dehadrai and Darshan Hiranandani. The TMC MP also reminded the Ethics Committee of its limited role that excludes investigating criminality. Meanwhile, BJP MP Nishikan Dube has fired a fresh salvo against Mawa Moitra. Quoting media reports, Dube has said that Darshan Hiranandani used Mahua Moitra's login 47 times from Dubai. Remember, he was the first to raise this entire cash for query allegations against Mahua Moitra along with Delhi-based lawyer Jay Anandi Hadrai. He had earlier written to IT ministry seeking a separate inquiry into instances of Mahua Moitra letting Darshan Hiranandani use her login credentials to post questions on her behalf. Let me bring in my guests now. Kabir Shankar Bose is an advocate of the Supreme Court. We have a veteran journalist, uh, Subhabrata Bhattacharya, also joining us. Kabir, beginning with you, there are questions, there are answers, and there are several questions that are being asked by, by the TMC MP in question here. Uh, you know, if you look at the developments, particularly of the last 24 hours, where she withdrew the complaint against the media houses, and now... Yes. She is questioning whether there is, uh, you know, if, if criminality is really the domain of the ethics committee. I'm trying to understand that is, is, is this some kind of web which is being built? Mahua is finding herself on the wrong footing. She's on the defensive and she's just going haywire. She doesn't know what is the right thing to do. She needs good advice and instead of, you know, uh, Going so hyper, she needs proper advice, number one. Number two, what was the hurry in going to court, rushing to court? Because she ultimately had to withdraw. She's dropped her claim against all the media houses. Not only that, she told the court that she's not pressing for an interim order. If there was no urgency, she didn't want an interim order, why rush to court? Hmm. That is why yeah. I say that Mahua is on the defensive she doesn't know what she's doing. She's, she's trying to cover her tracks of the wrongdoing. And finally, she's going to the committee. Yes, I, I do agree the committee cannot go into criminality. That is a part of the criminal investigating agencies. That's a later part. But let the committee immediately go into the issue whether there has been breach of parliamentary privileges and let the committee come out with that finding. So the question so let is not run that, away. If, that yes. if this provision of... A uh, login IDs and password is a recent uh, uh, phenomena. Then what Mahua yes. Mitra here is saying is that there's no rule f barring her from not sharing it with someone. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. The rules are clearly there. I cannot, I, uh, uh, I don't have the rule number off my hand, but the rules are clearly there. It even says you cannot share your login credentials with your secretary. It goes to that extent. Hmm. So prima facie and ex facie, she is guilty of breaching parliamentary rules. That is absolutely clear. And we have Hiranandani's affidavit as well, hmm. which she claimed was concocted under pressure. And, and uh, the, 
uh, he has now come on record and says no there was no duress yes. i have actually gone to the embassy uh, and the high commission in uae yes. and done it voluntarily so let all this come out she is definitely in breach of parliamentary privileges the criminal part has to be investigated by a proper investigating agency okay okay shubhabrata bhattacharya uh, you know we have been reporting on various aspects of the story for several uh, weeks now and now that final appearance is happening the point being made by mahua moitra is that she should be allowed to cross examine those who have leveled those charges against her uh, there is no such precedent as far as uh, the committees go that the person in question is given that option of uh, cross questioning so what really is likely to happen because if any permission of cross questioning is supposed to be given that is given only by the lok sabha speaker very true the fact is that mahua has been changing her stance from day to day she has instead of humbly going before the committee and stating her case she is trying to prejudge the committee she is saying that they will uh, the run of criminal jurisdiction uh, yesterday i saw on bengali tv uh, mm. in calcutta television that she was alleging that uh, they will throw me out for the winter session now why should she pre judge the committee this is unfair to the committee to begin with the fact is that there is no privilege involved uh, unfortunately as the ethics committee looks into issues of propriety the question is that did she ask these questions for a consideration and for illegal gratification if so then it will be impinging on the privilege of parliament and the right forum for that will be the privileges committee the ethics committee unfortunately has not been very active as mama has pointed out and they are yet to frame code of conduct for the mps no but and code of conduct of mps and the do's and don'ts are there in the public domain which includes so, an mp declaring conflict of interest it, do you think this comes in that domain of conflict of interest it, it could there is there is an area that the, the committee has to decide after after questioning her as as far as her right to cross examine uh, that again is an area that the speaker may have to decide because we are we are groping in a gray area because there is no precedents that can be decided upon this was the first time that such a thing has happened she has been calling this committee kangaroo court hmm. now apparently though she is highly educated abroad she does not know the meaning of kangaroo court kangaroo court is a illegal court the committee of parliament cannot be called a kangaroo court she has been also making all sorts of allegations against various people she would like to now cross examine not only mr dube the other she would like to cross examine mr hiranandani hiranandani has not been called called in so far how can he be cross examined cross examination is on somebody's testament and she also wants to to question the officials of the three ministries now for it was speaker to decide whether he would like to have this prolonged proceedings or tomorrow as the committee meets and i like to emphasize that this committee has got seven members of the bjp and eight members of the opposition non bjp parties so i do not think it is a kangaroo court Uh, quote and quote as uh, Mahua would like to call it, Mahua should submit herself to the inquiry, and as Mr. Dubey has already pointed out that uh, we found out that 47 uh, times her uh, her passport was used in Dubai. All these things she will have to explain. One thing I would like to uh, point out: hmm. she says that that uh, you see she belongs to a remote constituency. That's not true. Mr. Krishnagar is, uh, is 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 the far end of the Calcutta's suburban rail system. Hmm. So a place which is in the suburban rail system of the state capital can't be called remote. And okay. she says that she was using Ranandani's uh, PA for dictating her questions. Now, no, but but don't you think, Kabir, that, that it's all change. in fairness that she can question and she should be given that option of cross questioning all those who have complained against her. She she ought to be given that. Now uh, let me add to that that I find it rather strange that the entire subcontinent of India she could not find a reliable sino-typist, so she had to telephone Dubai and dictate her questions. So okay. this is 
untenable uh, explanation. Okay, so since you're saying it's untenable, but because the MP in question has raised certain concerns, particularly about, you know, why has the Privilege Committee of Parliament, which is looking into uh, uh, the complaint that has been filed by Danish Ali against Ramesh Biduri, which relates to the hate speech, why has the movement on that front not been, uh, you know, pacey enough? When it looks, when uh, in comparison to what is going on uh, with regards to ethics committee, with regards to you know, in her, in her case, so Kabir, what is wrong in not letting her que cross question, or what is right in letting her cross question? So you see, Mahua has been avoiding the process. This is a process; it's a parliamentary process, and the speaker, who is in the chair of parliament, he needs to decide the process. So Mahua has been avoiding this. Let her come on record, let her face the committee, let her put her application before the committee and the speaker. If she wants to question, yes, natural justice would demand that she is allowed to question her, her uh, you know, the people who live with the allegations. But there is a process. So let the speaker deliberate on that. Let the committee deliberate on that. And then, uh, you know, the, the things would fall into place. Don't avoid it. Face it. That is what I want to tell Mahua. Face okay. it. Yeah, but she is facing tomorrow. Uh, do you think tomorrow? Yes, yes. Tomorrow is when the ethics committee will be meeting, and she is appearing before the ethics committee tomorrow. So that yes. brings me to my question, Kabir, because she has yes. withdrawn the case against the media, and which which is which she had earlier said that was the entire coverage is defamatory. It is malicious in nature. So that intent right. of the media has been put aside set aside completely right. that is no longer in the domain of questioning but now as far as her allegations against those who are her complainants are concerned beat nishikan dube or jay adhyad rai uh, both of them she wants to cross question uh, my question then is that do you think this will enter into more of a domain of politics rather than the right. processes of a committee because then it will be about who w what is the entire constitution of this committee what is the you know number dominance as far as the India parties are concerned, or uh, for that matter, the BJP or the NDA parties? Let me answer, Maria. Huh. Not only did she withdraw her claim against the media houses, she also told the court that she is not pressing for an interim order. Hmm. That interim order was for an injunction on all these other people which you've just named, that they should not be allowed to propagate further whatever was being said. Now, the moment Mahua told the court she does, she's not pressing for an interim order at that stage, I, as a common citizen, would think she has not expressed her urgency or she doesn't have sufficient material to press her claim at that stage. This itself opens the question. That means is there wrongdoing? Yes, it is now. She is trying to make this political hmm. because she, she, she rushed to court without having substance. You can't just rush to court. And that is why she had to withdraw now. She is hmm. now trying to give it a political color. Hmm. She is also trying to rope in the Honorable Prime Minister by saying Hiranandani's affidavit was coerced by the Prime Minister is ridiculous. So okay. she is trying to give this a political color because she is not having anything else to okay. bank on. Okay, I just have 30 seconds for Subhabrata. Uh, Mr. Bhattacharya, what is it that you will be watching out for tomorrow? Uh, before I say that, a, a quick comment. Mr. Danish Ali... The complainant against Mr. Bidhuri is a member of this ethics committee. He has not objected to the proceedings of the ethics committee or pointed out that his complaint against uh, Mr. Bidhuri is pending in the other committee. They are two different committees. So, Mr. Danish Ali attending yes, the meeting. That, the yeah, he is a member of ethics makes, committee and his complaint uh, is before makes, the makes, privileges. Right. Makes, makes Mahuas, <laughs> this defense also tenuous. I would be looking forward to fireworks tomorrow. I don't expect Mahua to. Uh, to submit easily to the jurisdiction of the committee, she will try to. She has been obfuscating throughout, and her obfuscation will continue. All right, uh, Kabir Bose and uh, Subhabrata Bhattacharya, thank you so much for joining us.